Okay. Okay. This is a video. This is a video idea. I have actually. I wanted to make. So uh, this is a video I wanted to make for a while. Um, opiate withdrawal is a just consequence. Okay. It it is a it is a just punishment or a oh, consequence actually. That is that is better. Uh, so or a better way to put it, I guess. Yeah, it's because it's a consequence of using uh, using uh, opiates. Okay. So anyway, I just I just uh, wanted to make a video, kind of. I hope it's encouraging. I really do too. I, I you know, but uh, I just felt like I just had this on my heart last night. And, uh, this was an idea I had and I, and I, anyway, so I jotted stuff down last night. I was feeling pretty good. And, uh, anyway, so, but yeah, opiate withdrawal is a just consequence of our actions. Okay. Uh, we reap what we sow. Okay. Um, uh, you know, as terrible as opiate detox is, it's just, it's, it's, it's a just punishment. I mean, it just... As hard as it is in the acute stage and the pause and, and all that crap, I deserve it, okay? And so do you, okay? And I don't, I, I don't, I hope that doesn't sound mean or, or you know, I don't know, mean spirited or I don't know, like I don't have a heart or anything because I do. I really do. Um, it's, it's just the, uh, it's just the, it's just the freaking reality of it. I mean, that's just, it's the, it, it's, it's just because, I mean, it just, it is that. I mean, I mean, think of, dude, you're being, you're high all the time and now you're low all the time. Okay. <laughs> fake happiness. And I've said this before, dude, that's in fake despair. I say fake despair because dude, when you're going through the pause and you're in that despair and you're, and you're just in that crazy depression, I've said it before. I mean, I know it, it's, it's so real. I mean, I'm not saying I, I say it's fake though. The feeling is real, but I, I say it's fake because it's just it's just a lack of chemicals firing. Everything will iron itself out, and you'll be you'll be fine. It doesn't. You're not a depressed person. You're not in despair all the time. You get what I'm saying. You're not that kind of person. It's just it's just chemical crap. Just like you know when I take when I take a bunch of freaking opium, opiates. I take a bunch of morphine or whatever, and I'd feel good. I'd be so freaking happy and manic and crazy and and whatever. And and uh, but it was fake. It was fake. It was artificial happiness. Okay. It, it was not true happiness. It was not true joy. It was all fake. It's all just a bunch of, it's all fake punk. Okay, there we go. That's, anyway. Premium today. Okay. But, uh, but no, seriously, dude. Uh, opiate withdrawal is a freaking just, it's a just consequence of our actions, okay? Um, yeah, dude, there's things in life that freaking aren't, are not just at all. You know, like, I don't know, being murdered or being raped. Sorry, I mean, I don't want to, but like, you know, being put in prison for having a different opinion or a belief or something, you know, sex, slavery, slavery in general, whatever, whatever. We all know. We all know. Okay. There's, there's stuff in this life that is just, it's not just, it's not, you know, uh, we, we know that, uh, we, we know that it's, it's not right. And it, it's, it's not, that was not justice. That wasn't, but this, this is, and, and I say that I want this to help because we need, you need, you need to accept it, okay? I needed to accept this. I, I accept this. I accept this pause. I accept I accept that this is going to go on for a while. It helps. It freaking helps if you just, you know, if you're really struggling. You know, you might be really struggling in that acute stage or the pause. It doesn't matter. Just when you come to, the, it, it, instead of just thinking about it, you know, because I'm talking to a lot of people that are in the acute stage and they're struggling. I'm talking to a lot of people right now. I mean, it's detox season, baby. It's, it's freaking January. Okay. People are, people are jumping. Okay. All, all freaking insane amounts. And they're really struggling with stuff. But, but I think some of that too is just, you know, there, there's a lot of questions and just every little thing. And they're just trying to dissect every little thing. Well, how much of this? And it's just like, dude, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. It sucked for me. It's going to suck. Just accept it. Don't keep thinking about it every two seconds. Just accept it. Know it's going to suck for a while. It's a just punishment. And, and, and it sucks. I, I know. It, it, uh, but you just got to take it, kind of. You know what I mean? Uh, there's things that I, I do. This isn't a video of things that you do to help, though. But, but there's things that you can do to help, yes. But I, I, you know what, though? I do have news for you. Everyone's looking for the miracle the miracle drug or the miracle thing 
to do for for opiate detox. And I got news for you. There is no miracle for uh, opiate detox. Uh, if you really want to get clean. If you really want, I mean, yeah, you can take Kratom. Sure, you can take Kratom and then just be on Kratom all the time. Or, or, or whatever. I mean, I know that there's something, you know, they, they can use that during the acute. But I'm talking, dude, the big picture. It's the pause. Dude, the, the, the acute stuff, that's the, honestly, dude, whatever. That's child's play. It is. I'm sorry. It's the pause is what is going, it, that, that's that's the crap, okay? But it's just. It is just. And, and here we go. Um, and, and, dude, seriously, something I was thinking about too last night. Especially, dude, for us I, and I and I know that there's people that that got an injury or something and they got hooked. You know, and I know that there are there's certain there are certain circumstances. Yes, I'm not saying every single per. This is not every single person ever that has ever been a, a you know physically dependent on opiate is just a piece of crap or something. I'm not saying any of us are pieces of crap. But but I don't know. I just I, I don't want it to come across that way. Okay. I understand. I also know that people that, that, that they, they admit though, they're like, yeah, it started out with back pain, but then they're like, but they admit they're like, I liked it a lot. And I told my doctor, my back hurt worse than it or whatever. Okay. Anyway, anyway, here we go. But it's a just punishment. And I was saying, especially dude, for us selfish freaking addicts, dude, the way we lived our lives, dude, all the, I was thinking about myself. This is just, just, just point. You could point this all at me, dude, all the money, all the deceit, feeling better than better. A lot of times I hear, you know, I'm working with other, you know, working with folks, you know, and here I got a bunch of freaking opiates in me and stuff and I'm feeling good. And they're like, think, wow, you have such a great attitude and stuff. And I'm thinking like, yeah, you have no idea how freaking high I am, you know, how good I feel inside, you know, but it's all fake. It's all fake. It's, you know, as I, as I said, but, but so when you're feeling better than better all the time, you're kind of cheating, you're kind of cheating in life. You know, you know, I'll tell you something I really liked or, or, you know, was a big thing with me for pills is it, I felt like it sped up time almost like if it was, you know, t a Tuesday at seven o'clock and I had a bunch of crap to do or whatever, you know, it was like, well, if I took the more, the more pills I took, the, the more I didn't mind doing what I had to do. And it seemed like I could get to the weekend quicker. And then I just want to get, take more pills on the weekend or it was, it was just this never ending, you know, how stupid it is. But, um, but you, you were, you're kind of cheating at life. I mean, really, you're kind of, I mean, really, dude, I, that's how I felt anyway. At least for me, I felt like, you know, it's like, it, the, the point is, is we, we freaking deserve it, you know, and let us take it. Let's just, let's take it. Let's accept it. Okay. A lot of us live very, very selfish lives, um, and hurt a lot of people. Um, and you know, there's people that watch this that have been hurt by other people, you know, that have maybe been on the other side of the coin, uh, too, for real. And, and, you know, but, but you know, if you're, if you're wondering why, you know, cause, cause we reap what we sow. Okay. We reap what we sow. If, if you're wondering why, sorry, if you're someone that's wondering why the paws are taking forever, maybe it's because you were high for a decade like me or a little bit more. And, and, and you're like, why is this just not getting better? It's been seven months or six months or five months or whatever. And you're still struggling with stuff. And it's like, well, we reap what we sow. So let's, let's kind of, let's, let, let's kind of take a look back and be like, okay, like six months clean really isn't that long compared to 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. I know someone I think that's been using for 29 years. I think he takes the cake, baby. That, that so far, man, 29 years of going hard like that. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Well, okay, not, it's whatever, whatever you want. It is, it is impressive. I don't know. It's impressive that he's freaking clean right now. That's freaking really impressive. Over six months clean. Uh, he's kicking ass. Sorry, but he is. Um... Or if you're wondering why the acute is just absolutely killing you, maybe it's because you sucked at the taper, which is all good. We all freaking suck at stuff. And, you know, I was not your, you know, I'm not the poster child for freaking taper. I'm going to make a video on, uh, on my taper and it should give hope to a lot of unorganized procrastinating folks so anyway because it i really didn't do great uh at all at the taper i'm not not nearly as good as so many people anyway okay sorry but um but yeah dude if you're if you're really struggling that acute maybe maybe it's because you jumped off at 16 milligrams of suboxone or eight or you know maybe maybe or, or you know what i mean like or there's re there's always um there's always reasons because we reap what we sow and, and I'm, and I'm going to, you know, and that goes for the, the small things that goes for the big things that goes for the good things that goes for the bad things. Okay. And look at this. I'm going to read 
just one piece of scripture today, okay? Um, I didn't want to read this at the beginning because I didn't want people to like, oh no, he's getting out the Bible and just just leave the video or you know turn it off or something. So I'm trying to suck you in and then do it. Okay, no, but really. And this is Galatians 6, uh, chapter 6, 7 through 9. It's a very famous, but I'm going to just read the whole thing, okay? So here we go. Uh, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Okay? Let us not lose heart in doing good. In due time, we will reap if we do not grow weary. If we do not grow weary, we will reap. Okay? We will reap our harvest. Okay? Seriously. Um, so, so that's, and now that's kind of where I want to shift to kind of some, you know, some positive stuff. What you're doing right now, getting clean right now, you are sowing right now. Okay. Yeah. We, we were sowing, we were freaking addicts. We were freaking junkies. We were whatever, spending money, deceiving people, taking gobs of freaking pills, being a selfish jerk, whatever it, it, it is for so long. That's what we were sowing. Okay, and, and then we're, we're, we're you, you freaking reap that crap, dude. We're, we're going through this crap. Well, start making changes, and you accept it. Okay, and, and, and you you know I want I want to change as a person. I want to get off this crap. I want to I want I don't want to be selfish anymore. I don't want whatever all that crap, all that garbage. Okay, um, we're sowing that right now. Okay, it's hard. It's tough. It's freaking rough. But I'm telling you right now, it goes for the good and the bad. You reap what you sow. So if you're we're sowing this right now, imagine what we're gonna reap. Imagine what we're going to reap when we're all done with this. I've said it a million times. When you are freaking through with this, when this complete eradication of this freaking tyrant that is opium, that's, that's Suboxone, that's Methadone, that's freaking heroin or more. I don't give a crap what it is. It's all the same crap. It comes from the same plant or it's synthetic and it, it, just, it hits on the same things in the brain. Okay? We know that. And, and you get physically dependent. It, it, you, when you get through that, you are going to be able to do anything, okay? I was talking to, dude, I was just talking to somebody. It was awesome. Talking to a guy, uh, it was like two days ago. Freaking special ops, dude, he was a Navy, Navy SEAL. And he was telling me, dude, like, his training and stuff, he's like, the mental toughness and stuff, he's like, dude, he, he was telling, like, th what he was going through, he's like, I, he was telling me, he's like, I was telling my wife, I'd, I'd rather go through Hell Week in, in Navy SEAL training than, than going through this uh, withdrawal right now. You're going to be able to do, you're, 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 dude, you're building roots. You're going to be able to freaking, uh, you know, do whatever, whatever you want or, or, or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't want it to sound like, oh, you, like oh, if you, you know, you put this in and then you can, I don't know, like it's, you know, like some selfish ambition or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that didn't sound good, but, but you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It's freaking hard. And, you know, doing the right thing. You know, we're going to reap, we're going to reap our harvest in due time. That's just what, that's what it is. That's what I was saying. And I went the long route. Like I, I always kind of go the long, the long route, the long route. Is it root route? I don't know. I think the Brits and the Americans and the Australians, maybe we kind of differ on some of the, those little roots and routes and all that jazz. Okay. Um, but, um, uh, you know, it's, you know, you want to get clean, you want to make changes in your life. You want to right the wrongs. You want to restore relationships or build relationships that maybe were never there. You know, sometimes we just got to own up to our mistakes and repent and change and do the opposite. <laughs> maybe, dude, there's times in my life, dude, where I've looked at my life and I've been like, I've got a freaking almost, it was like George on Seinfeld, that op opposite episode where it's like he does everything the opposite. He realizes every decision he's ever done and made in his whole life is the wrong decision. I've cut, dude, there's been times in my life where I'm like, I mean, like, the only good decision I ever made was, like, marry my wife, Katie. Or, and it's like, other than that, I've pretty well screwed up everything. Or, you know, um, you sometimes you just got to repent. Repent means do a 180. Turn around. Go the other way. I mean, just go the other way. Flee from, flee from it. Flee. Run. Run from it. Okay? Um, sometimes, sometimes, you know, if we, we want to restore that stuff, we want to make those changes, we got to just freaking own up to it and, and take it and, and just understand that, you know what? We re we we freaking reap what we sow, and and I made my bed, and now I gotta sleep in it. And okay, you know th this is that's just that's just straight up how it is in it. And I'm telling you, uh, 
when you when you get to that point and you accept it, man, it, it does help. It helps, okay. Uh, but I'm, but dude, something about that too about changing your lives and restoring relationships, dude. I'm talk I am talking to folks that are that are right now. They are reaping the benefits of being clean right now, right now as we speak. Uh, some amazing stuff. Ama- just amazing stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, getting to see their daughter, getting to see their grandkids, getting to see their son. Okay, getting invited, being able to go get invited over to a Christmas party now because they're not trashed. They're not nodding off and drinking. They're not, you know, or, or whatever. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but it was. And I was talking to people, you know, um, whatever it is, there's people that are reaping that, uh, that right now, the benefits of that, that's that because they're sowing that, that so they're sowing sobriety. There's, they're, they're, you know what I mean? They're putting that in and the, and the people around them see it. You know, faith without action is dead. It is dead. Okay. Um, and sometimes we got, we, 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 you know, I can get up here and talk. I can talk, talk, talk. I've said this a million times. I can get up here and talk, 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 talk. If I were to relapse, all of it's in vain. It means absolute. I wanted to really cuss right there, but it don't mean, you know what? It doesn't mean crap. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't mean shit. I'm sorry. I know here I'm, I'm sorry. I'm quoting scripture and I'm saying shit, but it just sometimes you gotta. You, sometimes you gotta use that words just in the right time. I never. I won't say the f word ever on here. Okay. Um, I do say it sometimes though, when I get mad. Usually it's a 49er game that freaking does it for me. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. But um. But yeah. Okay. And another thing. Reaping what we sow. Or. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That goes for health too. Okay, that goes for health as well, and and, and uh, because uh, living hard, it, it's not like like that, dude. Freaking using stuff, you know, for so long, and and then you drink with it, and you do this, and you do that, and you you know take thirty Vicodin and perks and whatever, and this and that, and, and I mean it, it's hard on your body, and, and I and I know a lot of us, probably most of us, we know people uh, that have been in the game for a long time, and who have lived hard. And they are no more. They are dead. Okay. Uh, because of the way they live their life. Okay. Because of the decisions they made. Because, you know, of, of what they were sowing in their life. Okay. Uh, they, you know, it's sad. It sucks. I, I, I know, I know people, I, I know people in their age of 40 years old in their fifties died of liver failure, heart attacks, all that stuff. And it's all because of, it's all because of the freaking lifestyle. Okay, the health. I've had my huge uh, array of health problems. Okay, and not all of it is due to usage, but some of it is. I have had, you know, I'll I'll, I'll make a video. I'm gonna make another video about some other stuff sometime. But, but uh, you know, so so that too. That's another thing just to keep in mind. It's not just, you know. Uh, it's the health stuff too. It's all that stuff. It all catches up. It all, you know, it, it, we're not invincible. Okay. Um, you know, and, and you know, those people that we know, you know, when they're dead, it's over, it's done. Okay. Their chance of this life is over. It's done. It's over. They, they will never have a chance, another chance in this life ever again. And it doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter if you believe in God, no God, the God of the Bible, the God, it doesn't matter what you believe. We all know that. We all know once you're dead, you're dead. You're gone. Your chance at this life is over. Okay. No matter what, no matter what you believe. Okay. It does not matter. We get one shot at this life. One shot. We reap what we sow in this life. Okay. We, we, and, and, and then, and it carries over to the next life. Okay, it does, it, but but it, but it, but it, it is fact right now, um, and and, and, I, and I should you know I I don't mean I, I'm really trying to obviously gear this toward uh, it's opiate opiate withdrawal is is it's a just punishment okay because we read what we sow I mean obviously I said it there are things that are unjust in this life there are unjust things that have happened to you to me absolutely but I'm sure that we have all projected or, or, or whatever you want, you know, we've done unjust things to other folks. Okay. Or you kind of what go, I mean, it all kind of go, I, I, you know, I'm not saying, I know I've talked to some of you. I know some very tragic crap that has happened to you guys. You, you get what I'm saying. I hope. Okay. I don't want to offend people or oh, my back hurts. This bed sucks, dude. Doing this freaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hey, no. Okay. 
But, okay, sorry. I need a chair or something. Bending over like this sucks. Anyway, uh, but anyway, dude, I feel like I've had multiple chances at this life, and uh, I should, I actually, I should be dead. I, sh I, I should be dead. I can think of, I can think of three. I can think of three things where I'm very lucky to be alive. Um, anyway, but uh, this withdraw, this 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 uh, opiate withdrawal, this opiate pause, the Suboxin withdrawal, the Suboxin pause, is just and do not forget it. Accept it and move on. Okay, accept what you gotta go through. Okay, accept it. I said it before. There is no miracle for uh, for withdrawal. Okay, there there's things that we can do. Uh, to, to help and we can do all the right things. You know, exercising is a great thing. You reap what you sow. You put in that time. Dude, I, and I know this isn't about, but it's, it's kind of the freaking naltrexone. You freaking put in that crappy time and it, you know, you reap what you sow. I, I mean, there, there's things that, um, you know, it, like I said, it's the good and the bad, okay? Um, but uh, but let, let's not toil in vain, okay? You know, it, 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 is, it is so freaking worth it you guys to get on the other side it's so worth it and and you know what i'm not there yet i'm not there yet i'm, I'm getting there i'm getting real freaking close but i'm not there yet it's a light it's it, staying clean it's it's a life it's a lifetime thing it's not just a, a, a six month thing it's not a two week thing it's not a month thing it's not a year thing it's not a five year thing you know how many freaking people i've talked to that were clean for three years and five years i mean it, oh, it sucks i feel so freaking bad for him it just sucks okay you know and that's another thing dude yeah you know and i don't mean to point that but it's like we reap what we sow it's like dude especially because because i've been there I've, i have real i have gotten through the worst part okay and relapsed we reap what we sow we deserve it it's just man we know we knew how bad this stuff and how hard it was to get off and yet we went back to it i went back to it several times and I know people, uh, you know, obviously I talk to people that we've all, a lot of us have relapsed and that's just part, been part of our recovery. Okay. Um, but, uh, anyway, I hope this was encouraging. I don't really know. No, it, you know what though? It was truth. Okay. And and that, that, I, I hope you, you I, I don't know. I wanted to be encouraging, but I hope that, uh, I don't know. You respect that, or just respect me. Like I'm, I'm all, I'm always gonna freaking tell the truth. Okay. I mean, at least that's, yeah, that's the truth. We we probably so the Bible says that, so it's the truth. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, though, guys, gals, stay strong. V for victory. Okay. Stay clean. Accept it. Okay. And remember, we reap what we sow, and it doesn't. It, that doesn't just apply. Yeah, it doesn't just apply for opiate use, but uh, opiate. Uh, opiate detox, op opiate withdrawal is a just consequence to our actions. Okay. All right. I love you guys. V for victory. Stay clean. God bless and salute.